Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. I am in Monterey, California, and uh, one of the things that I've been seeing on like roadside attraction sites and even some other videos is that they have this wax museum that uh, a lot of people don't really find good or interesting, but it's something that I've been wanting to see and show, so I will. So we're going to go into the Monterey Bay Wax Museum and take a look for ourselves. The Wax Museum is on the famous Cannery Row in Monterey. Very touristy area as you can see. So it should be nice and cheesy. And it's a very John Steinbeck themed area. So the museum will likely be that way too. Alright, I'm about to go in to the wax museum. Just down this way. Here we go. So I'm about to enter the wax museum. Over 100 figures and dozens of scenes inside. Four thousand years before discovery by Westerners, many people, the alone nation, hunted and relocated seasonally in our tribal areas that stretched from San Francisco Bay to Big Sur. We are one of more than 100 Native American tribes that lived here in California. We are a peaceful people. Our seasonal migration followed hunting of deer, harvesting of shellfish along the coastal bays and rivers, gathering of acorns, and reed rafting the estuaries of the coast to hunt for birds, eggs, and fish. The cannons boom and boom and boom, announcing the arrival of a group of missionaries from a land far south, from a part of Mexico called Baja, California. After a stopover in San Diego to establish the first of the California mission, the party had sailed north to Monterey with a frontier soldier named Juan Batista de Anza. After a long and treacherous journey across the desert to Mexico, he arrived here in 1776 with another group of soldiers, settlers, and missionaries. Found gold! <laughs> and they said the gold rush ended in 1850. Nope. Not in my cave. I knew it was here all along. Even told my old buddy James Marshall. He was the first guy to discover gold, you know. He found some in 1848 at a sawmill. Purely by accident, too. Before you know it, gold fever strikes, and every town empties trying to find gold. Even Monterey folk took off running for the hills. Nobody was left except me, a tumbleweed, and a few mangy mutts. And then I found this cave and went to work. And look, gold! I've been waiting here back from you. I've got 60 men out surveying at Sutter Sport near Sacramento. How's it look out there? Well, the Mexican territory is raising some concerns. Perhaps you and I should head out that way to ask permission for time to resupply and spend the worst of the winter in the San Joaquin Valley. Great idea. If they say no, I'm prepared to fight. Or withdraw to Oregon to await military action to seize California. Whichever works best at the time. Shortly after 1900, the fishing industry was in full swing here in Monterey Bay. Cannery 
Rainbow had its own kind of nightlife, much of which wouldn't be allowed or even understood today. At the La Ida Cafe down the street, Wide Ida provided comfort and relaxation for her customers at the bar and in the rooms upstairs. Well, hello there. What brings you to this side of the tracks? I know. Don't tell me. You got the family with you, huh? Nice to meet you folks. I'm Flora, the madam of the Bear Flag Restaurant. Folks say you can fill all your appetites here at the Bear Flag. They also say I'm an exceptional businesswoman. I'm very generous to the poor families all over town. It's been said that I've helped finance more than one struggling cannery owner over the years. Come on back and see me. Because you know this, this makes sense in this story of Monterey Wax Museum. That's how it ends. That's actually um, pretty darn scary. Don't really like that. All right, so I just got out of that wonderful wax museum you just saw. And uh, final review is it was really weird. It kind of went all over the place. As you saw, it went from like the start of California to specifics of John Steinbeck's stories to prostitution at the end. So it did live up to being very weird. Uh, I went through it in about 20 minutes. Uh, so you know, it does live up to being a weird roadside attraction, but I'm glad I did it. So over here, there's a Zoltar. I actually saw this earlier, but I got self-conscious because everyone was staring. So now I'm having my sister film this part. They had this in the movie Big, I think. It's what turned him from small to big, if I recall. Anyway, we're gonna have my fortune read. Your small payment will reap great benefits if you listen to these words of wisdom from the all-knowing Zoltar. The best place to find a helping hand is at the end of your arm. Yes, you must work for happiness. So go on, take your this two hands, keep some money out of your pocket, up. and let Zoltar tell you more. Okay, so we missed a lot of his narration because there's a party of four and two ready at Bubba Gump's right next to me. Uh, the but so go ahead and show this too, maybe. My fortune, you're a very virtuous person. You have chosen the path of righteousness, and you'll be very happy. Your relatives... You're wait, not easily oh, influenced. Your relatives have a great deal of respect for you. Okay, um, keep reading. You're doing a great sure, job. Sure, false. They know <laughs> that you have a keen mind and an understanding nature. You have a good sense of values. You love a beautiful home, and one of these days you will be in possession of one. You are! So uh, what's wrong with him? No, not good. How do I get my money back? I think you shake it. Shake the machine. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Signing off from Monterey now. I'll see you all later. See you next time. Bye-bye.